Hello and welcome to week 88 of the vlog, I want to say welcome. Um, I have finally filmed my review for this Woven Kingdom so I can now put it away in the bookshelf. Um, it was a difficult one because I just really enjoyed the book but I don't really have like a lot to say about it other than the fact that I like really enjoyed it um so they're always the most difficult reviews to film um but yeah so finish work it was a really bad day today yeah it wasn't the best of days i was just not feeling it and i had a really bad headache like halfway through the day that just kind of killed me off for a sec so yeah but i feel okay now i took some paracetamols ate some food and had a nap and i think we're all good we are all good um, but yeah, now I'm just vibing. I'm going to put these clips into my laptop and they will stay there for the foreseeable future until I forget to do anything with them because that is the story of my life. Hello, it is Tuesday. Yeah, tail end of Tuesday. Um, I've finished work. It's like half past nine now. So done work, went to the gym. The gym was a bit rubbish, so... I just left early um instead i just was feeling really bored just really wasn't in the mood for it so i was like well where's the point and packed up all my work stuff and now i'm planning my outfit for tomorrow what should i wear it's been a while since i've worn the clots because it's been a while since they fit me nicely so i think we'll go with those nice white jumper and i'll probably wear my brogues or my mules you'll find out tomorrow anyway i'm just blowing around my hair just because it's a bit of a mess <laughs> after i have a shower it's crazy to think so i've kind of been back in a fairly decent eating routine and working out routine for like two weeks two and a half weeks maybe and it's made a lot of difference bear in mind i've also been and gone on my period at the same time but i just feel smaller less puffy i feel that like i take up less room i just feel a little bit more like myself um so that's good i am slowly getting through um dreams of gods and monsters so getting through that i filmed yeah i told you yesterday that i filmed my book review for this woven kingdom um and yes not really a lot much to report on friday night i'm going out for dinner with girls from work which will be really nice that's always really fun so it's thursday here's today outfit super cute i'm loving this big baggy sweatshirt tucked into the mom jeans vibes it makes me feel very 80s 90s living for it <laughs> It has been a hot minute since I've had a cream egg. Mm. They're amazing. Why is it so cold? Oh my god, why is it so tired? So, it's Friday. <laughs> no, it's actually the end of Friday. Um, yeah, but that's it, that's all I have to share. It's the end of Friday, it is 20 to 10, I'm so tired, like, why is this a thing? Um, I've just, well, not just, that's a lie, I got back from Derby about 9 o'clock because me and the girls went out for some dinner and some drinks. Yeah, I went out for some dinner. I went to this place called Zorba the Greek. I shall link it down below so you can have a look. Really lovely food. Um, slightly dry. I could have done with a nice, like, drizzle of sauce over the top or something. But, I mean, the lamb was delicious and the tzatziki was delicious. So, I mean, it was, it was lovely. Yeah, I just all of a sudden, like, towards the end of the day, I got really bloated feeling. And then it's just been... The whole night was super achy and just comfortable so i'm really annoyed really annoyed with that last night had jim and donica bath first one in burton 
um, first time I've had the one in Burton. It was alright. Like, I like Joe Madonna kebab, but only if it's done properly. So the ratio of salad and meat is right, my chips are good and stuff, and they're a new franchise that has just opened, and I've had my fair share of Joe Madonna's, alright? And it just was not very good. First of all, I went with my friend, there's, we ordered like, to be fair we probably should have ordered on the same tab, but we had to pay separately, and theirs came and by the time they had eaten to be fair it took a long time to come probably at least 10 minutes to come um they had eaten and then it was still another 10 minutes until mine arrived and we had to chase it up but they didn't make mine properly they just duplicated my friend's order and gave that to me instead um which was not right because i paid extra for fat cheese and i did not get my fair cheese anyway we told the people well i told the people not like i ate it because you know I wasn't gonna wait again and like it was fine I just ate it and then I went to tell the manager or staff member purely for educational purposes so that they kind of were aware that that happened like I wasn't there to complain or get anything for free I was literally just there to inform them and let them know the feedback and then really annoyed me yeah so she offered me a full refund fair enough amazing great but then she said about all right and then she says and i can give you something for free i was like great so i thought she was gonna give me a full refund and something for free no i just went for the free thing and i did not get a refund but it was my fault anyway i think the issue was that they're very understaffed and they're going through major teething problems and it was fairly busy so they're managing online orders in-store order collection orders takeaway orders it's probably just not ideal anyway i might give it another chance maybe but not right now because they didn't even make my wrap properly it wasn't it was like rushing it wasn't tidy so it was just flopping everywhere oh it just wasn't successful <laughs> hey google Play some country music. Sure. Hello and happy Saturday guys. I am reflecting the bright sunny weather with my outfit. So what have we done on this fine Saturday? What time is it actually? I got up, cleaned the bathroom, hoovered the landing stairs, my bedroom, had a shower and it is now half past ten and we... And I'm going to get my nails done. This is the current state of them. They're very grown out. Kudos to me mum because like they're still looking great from where, except from where I've picked them off. A few of my nails have stabbed. Um, but yeah, so I'm heading off to the salon now. A little bit earlier than I need to because I'm going to sit and take my gels off myself. So it saves her some time. And that is that's all that's going on. Um, and I walk, I'm going to walk to the salon because it's a lovely day and I don't need to take the car. So yeah, let's let's go and do this. noodle and cheese on toast is what we are having. Can't go with anything nutritional. Can't go wrong with a cheese on toast but cheese on random bread. And here's the pot noodle. Oh, look at that. Oh I just want it's been so long since I've had a pot noodle. I'm so excited. Okay so time has passed. I have had oh why did I turn that off? I have had a no I was doing a little bit of booze box picture editing as well as listening to the diary of a CEO uh, featuring Jordan Peterson um, yeah I was listening to that I love Jordan Peterson like I don't always agree with what he says but I love how he articulates himself I love you know his confidence in his opinions I love how he can back his opinions up um, so yeah I was just watching that and well, I listened to it while I was editing it's really good and I'm off to my grandma's also how cute are my nails you couldn't really see them properly in the salon because they look really like kind of yellowy but like a really like whitey stone brownish color 
kind of, I don't know, they're really cute. I'm trying to bad. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm.